How much after last season were you itching to get back here to start this season? It was really itching because because we got a taste of it. You know, me targeting some of the young guys got a taste of it. And, you know, spending a full season with them, it, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. You obviously were going to make the opening day roster last year. An injury prevented that from happening. How difficult was it then overcoming that and trying to accomplish that dream of making a major league roster, knowing that yeah, you were a in to make it, you had earned that spot, and then all of a sudden here's this derailment? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, it, def it definitely sucked. But, um, you know, what happens? It happens all the time in this game. Um, you know, it was just, it was just, you know, like how quick can I get back? You know, how much stronger can I get? So it was just, it was just kind of getting here, getting in the weight room, doing all the rehab stuff, and you know, you know, came back in about like two months. Fly ball center field. Taylor going back, still going back. That ball's out of here. Riley Green wins it. First home run as a major leaguer is a walk off winner. It's pretty crazy to see how quickly you came back and how quickly. You made an impact. How much do you savor some of the big moments that you had? Oh yeah, you know it was pretty cool. You know all the things that happened, but that was in the past. This is the present now, so I'm, um, you know, going to focus on this year and you know going to try my hardest. It is a young group out there, and I and I'm watching you guys in the backfields, and you're one of the guys that's steady that everybody's out there looking at and looking to. What is it like now being one of those guys that the young guys that get drafted are looking to for advice on even just where to live, where to eat, what to do, what field are we supposed to go to? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still a young guy. I know that's what's wild. I'm not old yet, but um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's pretty cool because we've we've done it, we've experienced it, so it's kind of cool that like people will come up to us, just ask us like simple questions about like, hey, where's this, where's that, or like, hey, what am I supposed to do here? Because we've done it, so we, so we know. They changed the dimensions at Comerica Park. A lot of uh, leaders in this organization have said there's not a lot of people that they've changed dimensions for and changed wall height for for just a single player, but. Tigers fans want to see more out of you. The organization wants to see more out of you. When you saw those changes made, what was your reaction? I mean, I mean, I don't think they changed it for me. <laughs> I think they did it for the whole team. But um, you know, yeah, it's it's cool that the fences are in, they're lowered, whatever. But you know, you still got to play the game. You still got to hit the ball. Still got to catch it. So I mean, nothing's going to change there. Still living with Spencer, as I understand it. I am. Yes. Who? Who? What's the roommate dynamic like now? Because you have you've got Parker Meadows moving in with mm -hmm. you guys. Yeah, you know, it's fun. You know, we walk in, you know, I'm I'm usually the first one back at the house. Torque walks in, like, screams, Greeny, what are we doing? I said, dude, there's nothing to do. He goes, you want to watch a movie? I'm like, sure. That's really, that's really all we do. We'll play cards, play some video games. We'll go golf every once in a while. But there's not much to do, you know, after after these days. So so it just comes down to baseball. Exactly. Exactly. We come here, whatever, 6 o'clock in the morning. And once we're done, we go back to the house, we chill. You know, we'll golf sometimes. So, rock on, man. Thanks for the time. Thank you.